Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel and welcome to Vlogmas day one. That is right, you heard me. I will be trying to upload one video a day throughout the whole month of December. Today is December 1st and I'm saying it in this video so that you guys hold me accountable and I can't take it back, okay? So December day one and I plan on uploading 31 videos this month. Wish me luck. I don't plan on leaving my house this month so I think it's doable. I almost finished it last year. I missed it by like the last two days I think it was and it's only because I went to Miami and my grandma was sick otherwise I think I would have completed my vlog mess last year in December but I was still really proud of what I did anyways today's video as you saw in the title it's going to be my November favorite video I feel like I didn't try that much new makeup in the month of November however from what little I tried I found some amazing products that I have to share with you today and I also have a few other products that just take me a while to like get to the point where I want to recommend them which is mainly like skincare or body care or sometimes hair stuff those types of products I usually try and I need to use them for at least two to three months <laughs> sometimes even more before I actually realize how much I love them and so in today's video I have a few of those to share with you as well I think I'm going to start with a cheek palette from a brand that I don't talk about as often as I think I maybe should and that is Tarte. I did an Ulta haul this month and this was one of the products I bought. This was one of the products that was in there and it is a chic palette. This, if I remember correctly off the top of my head, was $39 and it has five blushes and a bronzer. When I tell you this is super underrated, I absolutely loved every single blush that comes in this palette. I have now tried pretty much every single one of them on different occasions and every Every time the blushes are colorful, they're nice and pigmented, they blend like an absolute dream, they look very, very natural. And so for the price, I think this palette is an absolute gem. Plus, I also love the Park Avenue Princess Bronzer from Tarte that the palette has. I'm not sure how this palette will apply to darker complexions because the bronzer is quite light. However, I do think that a lot of these blushes, because they're so nice and pigmented, can be used on darker complexions as well. Just check out how pigmented the blushes are right here. I barely touched them and they have the most stunning finish to them. They look really nice and natural. They blend like an absolute dream. And obviously you can always blend them into a different bronzer contour product. If this one's a bit too light for you, I promise you it's still worth it just for the blushes alone. Besides that, like I said, it's less than $40 and usually a blush is at least $25 to $30 per blush. And so to get six different cheek products for less than $40, I feel like it's an absolute steal. And another one of the things that I really love about this palette is the outside packaging as well. I'm obsessed with how good this looks, this burgundy gemstone type of vibe that this palette has is incredible. My mind was honestly blown at how good this palette is, how affordable this palette is, and how beautiful the packaging of this palette is. So needless to say, I highly recommend this palette. It's got the three Bs, how we say in Spanish. Bueno, bonito y barato. It's good, it's pretty, and it's affordable. <laughs> Um, so yeah, love it, love it, love it, and um, I think you guys will absolutely love it as well. Since we're in the subject of Tarte, I actually have a second Tarte product that I tried this month and absolutely loved, and that is this right here. This is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip, specifically in the color Ginger. I bought a set. The set was also $39. It has four different lip products in there. I highly recommend the set and I actually really like them all, but my favorite one out of all of them was this right here. This is the Juicy Lip in the color Ginger and it is just such a good shade. I think it totally matches what I'm wearing today, so I'm going to put it on. And that's the thing about this color, it's going to match a whole bunch of different makeup looks. It's not too warm and it's got this incredible shine to it where it looks like I just applied a full-on gloss but it doesn't have any stickiness to it whatsoever and it feels like I have a lip balm on my lips but like this shiny. 
this Juicy. I feel like the name is totally right with these. These are Juicy Lips Indeed. <laughs> so if you've been wondering about these, I don't know what took me so long to try them, but this one in the shade Ginger is my favorite one I've tried so far. And whenever I go back to Ulta, I need to just stand in front of where they all are and maybe pick more shades for me because I'm obsessed with how good these perform. They last for a long time and they just look so pretty. This plus a lip liner and like you're all set. You don't need a lipstick, you don't need a gloss. This is the perfect product that will give you the look of both of those things in one. <laughs> By the way, as per usual, I will have every single product that I talk about in this video linked down below in the description box of the video and if any of these products are available at Ulta I'll also have them tagged in the video whenever I tag products um, I do also earn a commission if you shop for them just like I do if you shop through the links in the description box below let's move on to a drugstore price eyeshadow duo that you guys confused for Pat McGrath eyeshadows when I wore it on a video and I'm talking about these two shades from Colourpop right here this is from the Colourpop at Target collection they come in a set the shades are moon daisy and ice dream i wore this on a video the other day and a lot of you commented that it looked like i was wearing pat mcgrath eyeshadows on my eyelids because they are so so beautiful and so shiny take a look right here at the swatches of those eyeshadows as you can see they are very beautiful. They have this absolutely stunning, glimmery effect to them. And when you put them on your eyes, I feel like they are so attention-grabbing, so beautiful. And the formula is so thin that I don't think it's going to enhance any lines you might have on your eyes. I really, really loved these. They have different shades you can choose from, but this was by far my favorite. And this duo was only $10, which is really nice and affordable. So if you're into super sparkly eyeshadows that are very classy looking all at the same time i do highly recommend these i love that you guys thought that i was wearing pat mcgrath eyeshadows when i put this on my eyes the other day because they literally shine so 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 pretty let's move on to another eyeshadow product one that i tried at the beginning of the month and that is this one right here the natasha denona retro glam palette this definitely has to be in my favorites video first of all and I didn't really think about this when I first saw it on the website. This is one of the most unique palettes that has launched this year. You can compare this to a lot of different palettes in your collection. And while the color story might seem familiar-ish, I promise you it's different. I compared this to a lot of my other Natasha Denona palettes. I compared it to a ton of different palettes that I have in my collection and everything's either darker or more pastel. There's nothing quite like this color story right here. I definitely find it to be really beautiful, very cohesive and also very unique. My favorite thing about this palette is definitely the light olive green shade. I think that they're very flattering and I've seen a lot of different people wearing this palette and it honestly looks good on 100% of people. Everyone looks good with these shades and of course Natasha Denona has one of the best eyeshadow formulas. She makes the creamiest, most blendable mattes. She makes really exciting, intense shimmers and she has this really interesting cream to powder formula that is just so easy to blend yet packs such a special punch on your eyes. I love it. I did do a video reviewing this one where I created two looks with it and then I did a five looks one palette with it as well. So if you bought this palette or if you're interested in getting it, you'll definitely have inspiration as to like different simple looks that you can create here on my channel. Also worth mentioning, I feel like this is the colorful palette for people who are into neutral makeup because you're going to have a little bit of fun on your eyes, you're going to do something that is just a little bit different, but I promise you, you are going to feel so comfortable using these shades. There's nothing too colorful, too dark, or too scary about these shadows. They just perform amazingly, they build up slowly. And if you usually only use neutral or earth tones on your eyes, 
this is not going to look that much different for you even though it has color i don't know how to explain it it's just like mid-tone and kind of muted but it's still different colors i don't know i highly recommend it if you've been trying to step out of your comfort zone i feel like this is a good palette to go to <laughs> the next two palettes i have to suggest though these are truly neutral, boring eyeshadow lovers palette and I am so here for them because that is definitely me. Starting with the new Lisa Eldridge palette right here, she came out with these eyeshadow palettes that have six eyeshadows to them and when I tell you I have never ever tried creamier mattes than these, Creamier mattes than these would be the cream to powder formula from Natasha Denona, but that is a cream to powder formula. These are just technically powder eyeshadows as far as I'm concerned, but they feel so freaking creamy. I've definitely never tried creamier mattes than the ones in this palette right here. This palette is definitely a pretty penny, very luxuriously priced at $68 but the quality of these shades is amazing, especially if you're someone who doesn't experiment that much when it comes to eyeshadows and you want something that you're comfortable applying and a formula that is going to help you not make mistakes, a formula that is going to help you not go too fast or go too dark. It blends like an absolute dream. It's just so beginner friendly. If you buy any of these Lisa Eldridge palettes, you'll find yourself being able to do very glamorous looks that are going to be simple, nothing too complicated, and that just kind of like make themselves if that makes sense like there's not much to think about even this matte black right here is like so freaking blendable and so creamy that like i promise you you won't have trouble with it at all like look at how much that blends right when i talk about beginner friendly eyeshadows i'm talking about formulas that are just very easy to work with and that you're going to get a glamorous look that looks like it's been done by a professional at home on your own with a few simple steps. The only other formulas that I review often that I find very beginner friendly are Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow formulas. I feel like Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadows have this quality where even if you're not sure what you're doing, even if you barely blend the eyeshadows, you're going to have a look that looks fantastic and that is exactly how I feel about this Lisa Eldridge formula right here. Sometimes I talk in circles and I really hope I'm making sense. Anyways, this palette is fabulous and not only are the mattes the creamiest mattes I've ever tried, but the metallic shades that the palette has are extremely, extremely attention grabbing. Very beautiful shades, you barely have to touch them to get full pigmentation and they complement the mattes in the palette beautifully. This palette is made in Italy and I promise you it's got one of the best eyeshadow formulas I have ever tried. I promise you, if you are into luxury makeup, these are going to blow your mind. Tom for quads who, okay? Like, another level. When I talk about not reviewing Tom for quads or Dior Quince because I feel like for the price they're not worth it to me, this is the quality that I would expect from those brands. The Chanel tweets that I shitted on so badly, this is the quality that I feel like those luxury eyeshadow brands should give us in order to charge what they charge for those little makeup palettes that they produce. If those brands had this quality in there, you would not hear me say a negative thing about them. This right here is fantastic makeup. The last eyeshadow product that obviously became a favorite the moment I tried it is what I'm wearing on my eyes today and that is of course the Mario Ethereal Eyes eyeshadow palette. This is limited edition and it is still available so get it now, don't regret it later, okay? I'm telling you right now, you need it, grab it. I don't want to hear it when it sells out that I told you when you didn't get it, okay? Okay, now that we got that out of the way. <laughs> This is the most beautiful, boring palette ever, okay? I love, love, love the metallic and these glimmery, toppery shades right here. These are both of the ones I'm wearing on my eyes right now. Let me just tap some more on right here. No need to waste it. <laughs> Doesn't it look like I have micro crystals on my eyeballs right now? 
I love the effect that these shimmery glittery shades have on my eyes. The metallic shades that this palette has are also amazing. Let me grab the third one here. Really nice and shiny, extremely pigmented. And lastly, all of the mattes that come in this palette are extremely easy to use. They blend very easily. A bit more powdery than the mattes on the Natasha palette or the Lisa Eldridge palette, but still very creamy, very pigmented. They get the job done very nicely. And then you have the nice metallic shades to add to the center of your eyes on top that are wonderful. Plus, I do also really enjoy the selection of matte shades that Mario put in this palette because they're neutral earth tone shades and those just look fantastic on a lot of different complexions. Plus, they're nice and pigmented and they blend nicely. Basically, I know that this is a basic palette, but I fell in love with it. The formulas are wonderful, much improved from Mario's previous formula. And the shimmery shades are incredible, so I am in love, obsessed. And I'm so glad I picked it up. This is my favorite Mario product that he's ever released in his whole makeup line, okay? I love it. The last makeup product I'm going to talk about today is a lipstick, a Lisa Eldridge lipstick to be specific, and I put it in my favorites because tis the season to wear red lipstick, and this is the best red lipstick I've ever owned. Simple as that. First of all, Lisa Eldridge lipstick formula is incredible. Her velvet lipsticks are a matte finish crayon lipstick that stays on all day. It does not budge, it does not move. You very rarely have to reapply it and they look amazing on the lips the whole time you're wearing them. This shade in particular is called Dushes. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it right here so you can see how creamy, did you see that? I hope you saw that, let me do it again how creamy these are. I love the opacity of these lipsticks and this is a true blue-toned red type of lipstick. Blue-toned reds are amazing because they look fantastic on a lot of different complexions and they make your teeth look whiter. So I highly recommend that if you're in the hunt for the perfect red lipstick for the holiday season, you get this lipstick because it is amazing, long-lasting, beautiful formula, nice and luxurious. You can grab the lip liner that comes with it, which I did from Lisa Eldridge, or you can pair it with a different red lip liner. It doesn't matter because honestly, what's truly best is the lipstick and you cannot go wrong with this one, I promise you that. So best lipstick I tried this month for sure. It is the most perfect shade of red and a fantastic lipstick to pick up right now if you're planning on wearing red lipstick for any upcoming holiday gatherings or parties or pictures. Moving on to some body care and I have the best shaving products to share with you. These are fantastic, amazing, and I only discovered it thanks to my friend Andrea. We went shopping at Ulta a few months ago and she swears by these and so do I right now, okay? I'm talking about these Tree Hot products right here. They're called the Moroccan Rose Post Shave Soothing Mist and most importantly, the Moroccan Rose Moisturizing Shave Oil. This right here gives you the closest shave you could ever imagine on your legs, plus it hydrates like an absolute dream and they smell amazing. I feel like ever since I switched to these products, I can go more days without shaving because the shave is so much closer than it used to be that it takes longer for me to see the hairs on my legs come out again. As I was saying at the beginning of the video, this is one of those products that takes me a while to realize how good it is. So I have mine all the way down to here at the moment. I've been using this for probably around four-ish months, I would say. I bought it with my friend Andrea right before I moved and this lived in a box for a couple of months until I finally took it out to start using it and I have not been able to use anything else since. For some reason, I've never been a huge fan of shaving creams. I have used shaving gels before or I would just use my body wash to lather up before I shaved my legs. But now that I've tried this shaving oil right here, I doubt that I'll ever go back to anything else because like I said, the smoothest legs of my life <laughs> is what I'm able to get with this right here. 
and for my underarms as well I use it for my underarms uh, they look so much more smooth because you can get so much closer when you use this it's witchcraft I don't know and then of course because I bought them together I follow it up with this post shave soothing mist right here which also smells fantastic and it gives you this like fresh tingly sensation after you get out of the shower honestly these are freaking amazing and i could not recommend them enough this is life-changing stuff we're talking about right here okay buy them now thank me later <laughs> also a huge thanks to my friend andrea for recommending these to me because you made my life better <laughs> Last but not least, I have a body butter recommendation for you, and that is this one right here from Josie Marin. This one was sent to me from the brand a long time ago. For the longest time, I ignored it because I was using my Kopari body butters, and I was very happy with those. And then a few weeks ago, I ran out of my Kopari body butter, and I decided to try something else just because I had it and it was new. And I have tried and enjoyed a whole bunch of different products from Josie Marin in the past. And so, as you can see, <laughs> I have really, really loved this one. I am glad I could tell you about it before I fully finished it. I don't think it smells like anything. She probably didn't put any fragrance in here. Josie Maron products are usually made out of the healthiest ingredients. So I don't think this has any fragrance added to it. Anyways, this is an intensive daily repair body butter and it's got eczema relief with argan oil and colloidal oatmeal. Now that the temperatures have dropped and the skin on my body is getting a little bit drier, this has been an absolute lifesaver. I have been enjoying this one so much. My skin just like drinks it up. It's not one of these body butters that is like hard to spread and stays in the surface of your skin. I feel like you do a few little rubs and it sinks right in. And my skin just feels so delicious and so hydrated every time I use it. I have been enjoying this one so much lately and I highly, highly recommend it if you're in the market for a new body butter. Um, it is quite the special one. So everything I just talked to you about were the products that stood out the most to me throughout the month of November. Whether it be because they were brand new to me and fantastic or because I finally realized that I am in love with them. <laughs> if you liked today's video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave and please let me know down in the comment section your personal favorite product that you've been loving throughout the month of November. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please Please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching and I'll be back tomorrow for another video. Bye.